Now I'm going to start on Ed's face on here. Same color combination of yellow ochre and a little blue. Now it's, the face is a little darker down here, so I'm going to start here. And remember, you, we see in the previous a portrait I did, uh, we saw how how light it it it, uh, it dried. Now if I add a little blue here. It'll go darker, and it has sort of a little mustache. Okay, now I'm going to work that up, up and so, so it's darkest at the base. While it's drying, I'll do Gary's face. And Gary's got a, a little bit of a beard here, but now I've got too much water, so I'm going to blot it a bit with my brush and go back with a little bit of this combination again. And let's go into the hair here. That's a little bit too heavy duty. Now here we've got a, a, a light jersey. So we're going to have a definite edge there. And I kind of press my brush. And you see I can watch my point. Now a little bit of water on the brush and leave a few whites, I think. And I'll go into Gary's hair. Because you really have to, obviously I'm working, I don't have to rush here because I've got this lovely photograph, but if I was on the spot, you'd really have to move out. Can you vary your strokes? Whoops. He's got very exciting hair, but not that exciting. I'm using it. I don't usually use the tip of my brush, but in this case, I do need to. Okay, let's go into Ed's jacket. I'm going to use cadmium orange here to, sh to start with. Now, because I am in a rush, I'm going to add a little, ca uh, little uh, cadmium red too. I am in a rush. So I'm going to leave a little border for the moment. Just, I'll just see what happens. I don't want the hair to get in there too much. And I'm going to add a little cerulean to that, just to tone it down slightly. Nah, that's a little bit too much cerulean. Yeah, that, that works all right. And maybe because of the hood here, I'll add a little burnt sienna. Okay, now again, because there, the, uh, there's an underplane of the back here. Now you see I don't always clean my brush between strokes. Let maybe add a little green in there. Actually, that was blue. And I'm going to lift that shoulder a bit. I'm, I'm losing the form in here. That looks a little bit more natural. And I guess I'm going to get a little bit more, a little bit more hair in here. And we've got a little bit of a beard, and so just showing. So okay, I use black there, I think, and then sometimes I add a little blue to it. Or paint, I could add blue or um, burnt sienna. I like sort of bleeds here. This is a white top to this, but I, and I'm going to let that go into there too. Now he's got a dark. Again, let's try a little uh, burnt sienna with that. Now, I should have probably not have left that quite so bleedy, but I can go back and firm it up when this dries. And there's a nice shadow in here I'm going to try to get in the jacket. 
and that's black and maybe some burnt uh, ultramarine blue. And I'm still not, I don't have quite enough value in this hair. I'm going to have a break now while this dries.